Well, y'all, it's about that time. It is September set up, and I am going to walk you through what I did for next month. I'm Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper. I talk about bullet journaling, creative planning, and other creative things like alcohol ink and watercolor. I wanted to keep the trend going with simple themes, so I started off with this and uh, did not really like the way this turned out actually. So I did it again and I used, instead of watercolor here, I just used a pigment pen from Karen Markers. This is a acrylic paint pen, it's a brush, and used some gold from the Fine Tech Gold watercolor set and came up with this instead. This was more true to the kind of wine purple color that I associate with transitioning into fall and wanted to bring that out. I'm not, uh, I, although I love autumn, I'm not super into like all the fall autumn motifs. Brown is not really my color, so I stay, I stay kind of away from that. So this is what it ended up being like with um, this beautiful gold texture. I actually modeled it after my tattoo. So I kind of used that as a guide when I was painting it. Um, I got this tattoo uh, in 2018, 2017, when I was in Bali, Indonesia. And I'd been thinking about it for a long time. And it represents a lot of things, but this is an Enso, which is a Buddhist symbol for a journey that never ends. You see the lines never connect. And then it is on top of a watercolor splatter that represents one one of my favorite mediums to use and what it represents to me is the messiness of life and how you play around with it and experiment with it and it turns up different every time but it's beautiful at the end and uh, the brush is kind of a nod to my calligraphy as a side thing so I wanted to model that after this and added some splatters for some, you know, a decorative touch. But again, as always, pretty simple. And thinking about what I really wanted to focus on, I'm keeping these pages. I am trying to use these columns more for the tasks that I've migrated from the past, the tasks that I think of for next month, and then the tasks that are coming up for me this month. And that's how I kind of solve that issue. If you go through your dailies, because that's what you're supposed to do, you build your stuff as you go. And as I think about tasks in my day to day that are for another time, I will either put it into my weekly log or add it into this monthly list. This month is September. So thinking about these major categories that I want to have um, planned out and focused on here. And I mean, I just plan around who doesn't love a touch of gold? on anything, right? And then I kept the log for the daily log and the headlines. I sometimes fill these out late, which is fine by me, but again, this goes over the best things or the most important things that happened that day. And then what I changed here was I'm keeping the wellness, but I changed this. So I used to keep track of sleep on the left hand side here and although it brought my attention to sleep I wasn't really using the information so I had the completed bar charts but I wasn't using that information to help me make any changes so now I pretty much know I'm going to bed at 1 waking up at some point between 7 30 and 8 30 and that's just going to take a lot for me to change we'll see what happens with the school year starting but that's kind of holding steady for now and so I'm shifting over to something else I want to track which is my finances now that the world has started to have fewer restrictions at least in the U.S. It gets pretty easy for me to just spend, spend, spend. And I was doing so good for so long. And then I have to go back to the office. So I'm like, do I have to buy clothes? And I find myself making a lot of impulse purchases. So I'm hoping that this log keeps me a little bit more accountable. I do use an app called You Need a Budget on my phone because it is connected to all my accounts. But having to write it down. I'm hoping I can just be like, okay, gotta get gotta get back on the horse here with the no buy and the savings and stuff like that. So since I'm going back to paying for parking on campus, 
uh, wellness, this is also going to track some things like I've started medications and I want to keep track of how they're affecting me right now. It's kind of really wonky. I've been having a really up and down time with it. And uh, so I keep track of that kind of here so I can tell my doctor about it or notice some trends. And then um, after that, I'll have my weekly page and then go into my dailies. So I don't really, you know, build too far ahead. People always ask me that about how far ahead do I plan, and I just go week to week, day by day, and build it as I go. My next uh, step here will actually be going into my monthly view. This is the Hemlock and Oak Planner. I did a review of this and an unboxing of it in a previous video, and honestly, I just love this company so much. There is a discount code you can use if you want to get yours. It is in my description below. They are a believer in sustainable products and sustainable to the point of like through all of their supply chain. They want recyclable paper. They want sustainable sources for the covers down to the fabrics. It's really quite incredible, their dedication to keeping things local and keeping things sustainable. But anyway, I'm going to go into the month of September and do a forecast. So I will go through and mark some of the busy big events in September and I'm going to follow the lazy genius method of the meal matrix so I can plug in my meals uh, around the busy times using my like go-to meals during those busy seasons or busy days and then adding in the other things throughout the month according to a little formula that I have for the season. Now that we're getting into the fall, my formula is a soup and then a flavorful dish. So on Sundays, I'll make a soup and then on like a Thursday or Wednesday, I'll make the other flavorful dish and uh, go from there. There's some other things I want to forecast as well, including things like finances, like what are my big things coming up this month so that I can have uh, that on top of my mind before I start charging up all the things. And then I also have some monthly subscriptions that I want to make the most of. Like I need to make sure I use up my uh, movie pass in a certain number of times and uh, order from Grubhub a certain number of times. So I want to keep that um, on my radar as well. And that's what I will put in my monthly. This one can get kind of messy. So um, you can see that I just really you know throw some stuff into here and use it as a a project planner, um, looking at things like when certain newsletters go out and different videos like that. So content planning is in here too. So we'll see what happens. Honestly, y'all, it is September and I am not feeling it. I skipped a video last week because I really just had other things going on and this fell to my page too and I felt guilty about it and realized that like I can't there, there's no like what what's holding me to that you know like it's a fake internal pressure and right now just really struggling as an educator to go back to school I think a lot of people are feeling excited invigorated to go back in person but I just I could use another semester I feel my body absolutely resisting going back in doing the dedicated uh, deep work that it's taking to prep for classes and I've just never felt this way before going into a semester. So this week I've just really been in a funk and that's the realities of it, right? Like riding that wave, sometimes I'm up, sometimes we're down and I've been coping by watching a lot of boy band concert footage and just reliving when times in my life were a lot simpler and it was just, you know, what Backstreet Boys versus NSYNC. I loved both, by the way. And um, hoping that I can really rest up in the next couple of weeks right before school starts. So keeping it simple for this and that's all I got for you. Let me know what questions you have, whether you're feeling the sense of burnout too, down below in the comments. If you like it, please like, subscribe, share, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.